But seriously, the Indiana comics when they're up against, like the Indiana comics when they're up against the Chicago comics is fucking phenomenal. Uh, knock, be, knock. <laughs> it is, ser- it's like a cancer kid against the entire front line of the Bears. It's fucking <laughs> wild. And the Bears aren't being nice. <laughs> no, they're like, well, we lost every other game this season, so let's go. <laughs> get him, Khalil. Let's get a 110 points, and then nobody can debate if we should be in the fucking playoffs. <laughs> No, it's been well. Fun. He didn't die of cancer. <laughs> he died of football helmets to the <laughs> temple. <laughs> no, but it's been fucking phenomenal because we went to the Market Lounge and like Chicago comic opened, fucking crushed. The guy who was the host on it is a Chicago comic from Indiana, so it's like one of those comics that just go to Indiana every time they need to do stand or go to Chicago, Chicago every time. But live in Indiana. Yeah, yeah, but live in Indiana, and he crushed. And then the next guy up, Chicago comic, crushed. And then the next person up was an Indiana person. And it's like, statistically, if you follow somebody that crushes, you can do good. You can do well. You, you'll you have no problem. Fucking died. <laughs> died on stage. And, and just like, took the room with him? Uh, no, he didn't take the room because it was like people understood. Oh, By did. the time that guy went up, they were like, oh, there are good and bad comics here. <laughs> <laughs> and some of them are very bad and some of them are very good. <laughs> so it's like I went up and I did all right, which is like, it, it's fine. I The first half of my set was great because I was talking to the audience. And then I tried to do like actual comedy where i talk to people and they're like mm, you haven't talked to a, anybody let alone an <laughs> audience in 10 months so eat a dick <laughs> i'd like to be a guy that does that like i'm just the guy that sucks in this show <laughs> <laughs> i just come up and tell terrible jokes and everyone's like well everyone else is pretty good yeah no he's the guy that's <laughs> <laughs> well uh, uh, here's something i would like to tell you you absolutely can be <laughs> just uh, anyone can <laughs> you're gonna be for a while until you get <laughs> good at stand-up comedy so just do it for a while i've done it a few times i don't have enough drunk text banked right now <laughs> well no what i'm saying is do your old material until your old material is so polished that it's like phenomenal and then move on and finally have sex Stand-up comedy is not the God, reason you're going to get comedy, laid. It is if you rape them, which many of them do. I don't think many of them do. No, you don't. Unless you're Dan do. Harmon and it's No, they baby. absolutely do. Well, some of them. <laughs> Still, look, are we recording? As I talk about Dan Harmon fucking a baby? Two minutes and 30 seconds in, baby. Oh, it's a commercial break. Dan Harmon did fuck a baby. A fake baby. Luckily, it was a plastic baby. <laughs> he didn't know that at the time. <laughs> yeah. Look, he really looked But he out. really, he really got back. No, he, he fucking Kramered himself is what Dan Harmon did. It, that's my media obsession for the week because I'm taking over your bit. It's just bits. Kramer saying the N-word? A billion times is similar, if not the same, to Dan Harmon. I think Dan Harmon's in a way better spot, honestly. <laughs> it okay. was a fake baby as a joke. He wasn't saying the N-word as a joke. <laughs> I See, for the first half of Kramer's bit, I thought he was trying to get the audience back. And then... <laughs> I think he was. He was just going to yell at them until they got racist. Uh, I thought for a while he was like, well, you know what works sometimes is aggression. And then, unfortunately, he had surpassed the levels of aggression acceptable by anybody already. So he was like, how high will this go? I've had experiences like that. She explained she wasn't into it. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of everything we've said so far, <laughs> it's just bits. And guess what? Full-time nasty now. Oh, you guys, just disgusting. You guys love the sex episodes. <laughs> Not the re- not cool sex, not love line, love line callers. <laughs> the name of this episode is cunt rape. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, that's most types of it, but let's not. Do oh, this. Do is, you think that is search engine optimized? Just for to be clear, that's not the name of the episode. No one's uh, looking uh, that up. Uh, uh, there are people. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's always someone looking up anything. <laughs> yeah. No. There's but not many people. The, the name, name of, of this the... episode is Dirty, for sure. Whatever we... If we talk Dirty about... Dirty Milfs. If it's... we talk about kittens and uh, glitter this whole episode, it'll be a uh, cat fuck some glitter is the <laughs> name of this episode. I think we should call it like Dirty Milf Time, Empty Nesters 4. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do a bunch of bits. And we'll figure out... And we'll make we'll one of which everyone yeah, is sexy. exactly. One of them is going to be something super sexy. <laughs> so, so that means people who thought this was a Pornhub link when you clicked on it and are still here for some reason, whatever you clicked on it for, it's going to be in the episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe not in the version you wanted, but maybe in the version you needed. <laughs> 
Sometimes you don't need to see come on a milf stits. Sometimes you need to hear about come on a milf stits. <laughs> I do think that's a, that would be a good blurb for our show is if Loveline was done by Loveline callers. <laughs> <laughs> so, if Loveline lost an aggressive amount of IQ points. I mean, if if Drew Pinsky died and Psycho Mike just got a guy. <laughs> I don't know which of it's the Psycho Mike. Psycho Mike, I love your story, which you have not told on the podcast, about you listening to psycho mike every night you go to bed yeah well i've i've always been Tell a, it. a Tell quivering it. chihuahua of a man mm-hmm. but once i was a quivering chihuahua of a boy so i just had an old i think it was like a painter's radio that my dad didn't use anymore but i would turn it on super low when i would go to bed at night and when i went to bed it would still be q101 which is a radio station in chicago and then before i went to sleep q101 would play love line on sunday nights <laughs> which if you guys don't know like people would call in and be like my girlfriend really doesn't want me to fuck her in the ass. Or my girlfriend really does want me to fuck her in the ass. And these are problems. And then Drew Pinsky, the guy from Celebrity Rehab, would be like, well, it's, uh, um, I know Heather Locklear. And then Psycho Mike would be like, I'm going to get three dicks and make a girl airtight on my own. <laughs> and that was like the dynamic of the show. And I was like 12. <laughs> <laughs> and that shaped the young man you see in front of you or hear in front of you and also... Or hear in in your ears behind you? Fuck, fuck, tits ass, because that's apparently what sells on this show. <laughs> yep. <gasps> Yummy, tummy, Bahama Mama titties. <laughs> that's what this show's about. Oh my god, Bahama Mama titties. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, <laughs> I like to go to Hooters and ask for the biggest tits waitress. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Excuse it. me, ma'am. I'd like to order the breasts. <laughs> okay, the chicken breasts. I get it. No, I would like you to get your breasts out. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this guy's gross. So, what we're describing right now is any radio DJ within a hundred miles of whoever's listening to it. One of them. Is for sure that exact guy we oh, just yeah. described. <laughs> yeah, take a brief because we're on the radio too. Uh, in the we are not in the kayfabe. We're not. Uh, just turn your dial a couple of dials to the left and listen to that AM radio at two AM. And he's literally probably saying right now, if your mother's listening, please tell her to call two two four eight two nine. My phone number for real. <laughs> <laughs> we call like- it the MILF line. It's just my phone. <laughs> I will fuck your mom if you give me the opportunity, because she'll give me the opportunity. This country still needs a Howard's turn, and that's me, and so does your mom. (laughs) If your son listens to this line, then you're not hot enough to (laughs) say no to me. (laughs) You're not hot enough to say no to me. (laughs) (laughs) Is what every radio DJ within 100 miles you actually thinks right now. (laughs) I wish that could be the name of the episode. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it can. (laughs) No one's... You're not hot enough to say no? to me yeah well you know what i tell you what do this episode title it you're not hot enough to say no to me that'll be our control episode if that episode gets a thousand views then we don't need then we continue to be dirty but name it normal things if that gets none then we name it like big big big, huge big huge cum bucket milf (laughs) teen Redhead, I can brunette, tell feet, you haven't looked up hand normal job POV, porn. <laughs> furry cartoon 3D hentai, but then we talk about like <laughs> just normal by stuff. visually looking at you during that bit. I can tell you haven't looked up normal porn in a while, so you have no idea what to No, say. actually, every time I look up porn, I type in normal, normal porn. porn. <laughs> exactly. Normal porn for normal people. Anyone get that? Please, you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> it's a creepy pasta, it's not Ooh. sexy. <laughs> Creepypasta usually isn't sexy. Nah. <laughs> usually wow. it's telling of the reader. If we're being honest, <laughs> it shines a dark light on the reader. And I know a dark light is a, not an antonym. What's the word I'm looking for? Oxymoron. Oxymoron. Thank you. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me your penis. And that's the the person who just laughed at that also would laugh at this creepypasta. <laughs> I'm I'm a, a kind of I'm like I'm an advanced creepypasta. I listen to or I read SCPs. You can't say con- connoisseur in front of me because that implies something in front of me. <laughs> it sounds like you're selling me. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, like like a like a um, just like a, like you're just greased up on a spit like I was <laughs> like a euro and I just carve a bit off of you and give it to a tourist. You could have just said like a pimp. Just be honest. <laughs> no, not gross enough. <laughs> yeah. We're oh, going touche. gross. We are going gross. <laughs> From now on, it's all about 
Pus filled vaginas from just here. <laughs> well, that's that's that was an the illness. Grossest thing I could have said on the spot. Just to be clear, <laughs> you're not reacting well, I walk, quite properly to it. Well, I walked into that hospital as... room and I didn't want to say it, but I said, "Well, that's a pussy, pussy." <laughs> <laughs> I was ejected from the hospital. Come come out to the next night we do. Which, by the way, guys, check out the three studios. Is the name of the YouTube page I was on re- one of their recent shows. They did a roast battle afterwards. It was phenomenal. It did get racist, which makes it hilarious. So, Kellen, come out next time and pretend to be the cops the whole time and then do the roast battle. I don't have to pretend. They'll think I am. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. No, but I think you could just... I walked into that surgery and I said, ma'am, getting a cream pie is not a medical emergency. (laughs) Turns out she was injured. (laughs) I'm I'm old-time radio doctor. I deal with (laughs) the most slapstick medical incidents. I don't want to talk about me having to do stand-up, so... (laughs) Ah, somebody said that their femur was broken, and I made a joke about it. Somebody said their femur was broken, and I said, good, they won't put me in their camps. <laughs> good. They'll just kill you, so. <laughs> yeah, like with a gun. Unless you're um, uh, an American. White. No, 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 American Chinese in the camps that we had here during World War II. You mean Japanese. I thought it was both. I'm sure we. I'm sure we there was a Chinese guy the that they yeah. just that some I'm National Chinese. Guard guy was like "fuck you" and took him. Yeah, probably. Because like you know, civil rights and not being racist aren't high on the list of people are who are rounding up the Japanese. Yeah, exactly. What I was saying it's is it's okay though because they get you're to the Japanese Chinese. and you have a broken femur in America and World War Two happens again, you're not going to get murdered. You need to put in a camp. <laughs> Which it's a, it's better. I it's will say this. Better. I will say this about America. In the 1940s, we had the least bad concentration camps. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be in a concentration camp in 1943. That was you the want one, it to yeah, be oh, in Nevada. That was the one, oh, that was the club med of concentration <laughs> camps. I mean, it was Studio 64 of what was the studio actual number? I don't know. 69. It's not 69. I wanted it to be 69 too, but it's not. Studio... I think it's Studio 64. It's not Studio 64. That's totally wrong. Google it. Eight. Two. Studio eight. It's two numbers. I can guarantee it's I don't know. I think it is 60, so I'm just saying. It's 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. It might be 59, though, if we're being totally honest. I'm Googling Studio 64, and if it comes up, I get to kill you. It comes up as Studio Fuck This Whore. That's the name of the podcast. I mean, Studio 64 is the name of a hair salon in your town. That might be why I fucked him up. What's the actual name? Studio. It's not fifty. It is fifty-four. Fifty-four. Damn, I was not that far away. I mean, well, numerically, ten. I ten. was ten digits away. But well, you were one digit away, but you were ten integers away. Yeah, I have autism. This... <laughs> you should start doing that if any joke doesn't land. I have, I have autism. autism. Ha! <laughs> I have autism, so you're a bad person for not laughing. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I want it to be like, I have autism, and they're laughing. Not because they have to, they <laughs> just think that's, ha, I bet flirting sucks. <laughs> oh, I bet you watched Madagascar and had a real emotional change. <laughs> Is that, what? Uh, I like King Julian, yeah, but. I don't know. I I can't make autism jokes. No, I'm you, no, <laughs> you, no, as a matter of skill, you can't, because I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> I bet you really like how it's made. All right, fine. But one thing you'll never know how it's made <laughs> is a baby because you won't fuck. Okay? There's that was a good there's one. levels. I bet you watched Madagascar <laughs> and when Alex was counting the stripes on uh How am I supposed Chris to clock Rock. that that's the reference you're doing? And no, 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 no. That was not. I'm fixing. I, I fucked up oh, the first getting, joke. Okay, I'm doing it. a new joke. When he was counting the stripes, you were like, it was not 37. It was 42. Did he that's count the number joke. of them? He did. I just remember he was eating his ass. He was like, eating his ass, and then he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, counting your and stripes. And dad showed up. One, two, three. Huh. Later, so it's though. black and white stripes because you have 40 white and 39 black. That was the joke. That was the bit they did. That's, you but know, what I'm saying famously at the beginning so of America. so autistic. <laughs> How autistic <laughs> am I? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Anyways, you're saying. <laughs> no, you know, at the beginning of America, there were 40 white guys and 39 black guys, and that's how this happened. Outvoted. <laughs>
And then it just keep being on. <laughs> no, it was capitalism. Every time they were like, well, let's put it to a vote. And the black guys crossed their arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's bullshit. No, actually, there were there were um, similar numbers of white and black people. And they just didn't let the black ones vote. It's crazy. So it's really easy to outvote black people. If, when they they do, if you don't let them vote. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe... Or if they're technically allowed to, but there's a I bunch of weird I can't believe laws. that... Like, I understand, and I'm going to say that... <clears throat> say this as the whitest American. I get the idea of slavery. I'm like, free labor's pretty awesome. <laughs> but can we just I do it to it. everyone? <laughs> no, 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 no. But what I'm saying is... It, I get how somebody... Like, and this is out of left field, the farthest my mind can reach. Is I get how somebody can be like, well, that color it should be slaves. But I don't get how people can be like, well, yeah, they can be th- two thirds of a person, and then still be like, oh, everything's fine. Like well, I don't no, know because I, no one actually <laughs> believed they were five thirds of a person. They were like, it was a compromise to give. It was, yeah, yeah, no, fifth third bank. They own slaves. <laughs> uh, they probably do. All banks probably do. Uh, no, but that was like that was their compromise for how many like I know, but I don't get how you can be like I get how you can uh, like I, the Constitution is stupid. That's the actual I, answer. It, it is. I aggressively don't support uh, obviously the slavery. I would like to say that right off the bat. Aggressively don't support slavery. I get how you can be like one to one, like that is the stupidest shit in my mind ever. But I get how you can be like. This person is and this person isn't. But once you get to this person sort of is and this person sort of isn't, how aren't you just like, oh, God damn it, I fucked up. How aren't you immediately like, oh, no, this is just dumb. Like, like just how people objectively. Were like, not like, I'm not uh, uh, like emotionally. Like the rights that like half black people yeah, have and no, don't exactly. probably varied by state. When you're fucking having the blind lady liberty way, well, he's half white and three. <laughs> Record. When you're like doing fractions about how black a person is, how aren't you there just are like several oh, English we words about up. it? Uh, I know, but how aren't you immediately just like ah, god damn it, we lost? Like how aren't you just immediately like well, they oh, we fucked. Uh, now we lose. shouldn't be doing this. We really shouldn't be doing this. Because they don't think racism's bad. I know, but it's so. But if you're ever in, even if you're the most hardcore racist, which is a, uh, admittedly how I should have started this bit. If you're the most hardcore racist, then I see how you can just be like, well, I'm racist against well, black people. Slavery because- doesn't happen because of slavery. Slavery, no. Slavery doesn't happen because of racism. Racism happened because of slavery. <laughs> Either way, bad. Uh, no, but well, if yeah, you're but like, you gotta- I should have started this bit. If you're the most hardcore racist, then I totally understand how you can be like, uh, black people are, are should be slaves or whatever the fuck your stupid bullshit mind is. I get it if you're the most hardcore racist, but if you're still that same hardcore racist and then you're like, black people are three-fifths of a person. When you start doing fucking fractions is where you just gotta be like, uh, never mind. No, I back off entirely. I think that I I think they are already the most hardcore racist, so they just don't even. <laughs> They're just like, well, whatever we get, we get. If you if you st- if your starting point is like these are people and these aren't, but they still fuck, then you're gonna do some math. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say some mild slurs They're that no one uses to get slurs it. anymore, but it'll be fine. They're literally they're, they're, they're like a drug dealer who has garbage weed who's trying his hardest to sell weed. He's like, how about three fifths of the price? Will you handle? They're just doing <laughs> bullshit gymnastics. That's how. That's the, what the northern states were trying to buy the 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 dirt weed of a racism based economy from the southern exactly. states. Exactly. And yes. eventually there you was a drive by. It's so fucking stupid. It's just so fucking. Stupid. You know, there's there's different like, the quadroon and octoroon that mean I don't remember which whether they're a quarter white or. A I don't get black, how that but... wasn't the end of it. I don't get how I really because don't slavery understand. was economically beneficial. That nobody was yeah. doing this to. That, I mean, there are freaks who are okay. like just fans of being I racist do in get fun it, ways. But I don't get how you can be like somebody who's rich and then also be like, well, I'm rich because of because of uh, not uh, what. Because I'm rich because of fractions based on a person, and then be like, "This is fine," and Every live rich with person thinks the they're rich because they're smart. Uh, God, I hate that so much. I hate it. Yeah. So okay, much. Daddy Elon. <laughs> uh, no, Elon Musk is rich because he's a very good person who made very good decisions, and also he's super cool. Such as to keep the emerald mines uh, okay, open. Okay. If I am, if 
Right. If Elon Musk is a bad person, then so is Michael Jackson. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's less oh, of Michael oh, Jackson's oh, fault. Fine. But then if Elon Musk is a bad person, then so is AJ, dude. Come on. Or OJ. Jesus, I'm retarded. <laughs> AJ, our friend from college, he's, he's very nice. AJ Giron, look him up and he's not, fight him, him on Twitter. On the well, yeah, fight him on Twitter. Fight everyone on Twitter. He's on the Connor Ford show. He has been. He's. I fun. allegedly no you. Um, <laughs> the joke was we that. use special effects for you to beat the shit out of him. The special effects were cutting away and me slapping my chest instead of punch noises. I thought we did makeup too. Oh no, that was not the. That was you we... just. That was you doing no, a weird Hell... Steven Crowder bit where you were a lady. Hell's Angel was the bit we did makeup on. I wasn't. Besides, I wasn't there. You know what we should do? That was Name this episode Carter. Big Black Cocks in Solidarity and then see oh, where this Oh, because I'm taking cock as reparations. Right. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, uh, just open, get. Reparations is fuck a white dude. <laughs> I mean, uh, not a white dude who wants that, it. But Rape that a is, white dude. That is, by the way, there's a man in Indiana living in a trailer park. Who thinks who, that's what reparations is. He doesn't is. actually think that. We'll get to that bit in a second. I just want to say, that's what those guys psychologically think reparations are. Exactly. Is that they would be getting fucked by black guys. Like, well, now let's talk about Cletus. <laughs> well, we can't have our women getting fucked by black guys all gotta the time. Be us. Just statistically, I need to put my penis in something. I, w- I want to see, like, he's sitting down and putting a lav mic on and being like, well, statistically, every black cock I take is a black cock that does not defile a pure Aryan woman. So I am happy to spend all night in that alley. <laughs> Dude, I will, I, if we ever get into positions of powers, because looking at us, we might. In like white and power real accidentally. Like, I, uh, uh, like Mr. Bean gets into positions of powers. That kind of situation. We might stumble because... I will stumble into... Because everyone whiter than us is insanely inbred and their jaws are too heavy. I would stumble into a position where white people like me a whole bunch and it would take me too long to realize they're aggressively racist. And then I've Mr. Beaned myself into being the Grand Wizard. <laughs> Except instead of saying no words, there's just one word you can't say. <laughs> you can say. <laughs> well, they, but you won't. <laughs> They'll I, want you to. They'll say it to you. you, you ever run into that? Because you look. You know, oh like this. God. That dude, someone walks up to you and is like, white people you saying, share my fucked up opinions, right? Dude, white people saying the soft A is an actual epidemic in my life. <laughs> white people around me being like, soft A. And I've been like, no. Yeah, like, if you're a person of you. color and you wonder, are white people super casual about that around other white people? Yeah, the racist ones definitely are. Oh, yeah. The, the people who are like, my, my dad is admittedly racist. Like... As somebody who was born in the 60s would they be. They all are. Like, no, he, like the lowest level racist you can be if you were born in the 60s is what my dad Like, is. he's unhappy about Black Lives Matter, but doesn't think that black lives don't matter. Exactly. But he still won't say this off day, and then a bunch of people who I'm constantly with will say it in just weird situations. Well, there's people who aren't racist, but still say the soft day mm. inappropriately. No... There's a certain level of inappropriate. His name's Kyle. Not the Kyle we know, but that guy's name is Kyle. And he's got a monster energy and a hat that's just so to the side. Uh, but I do know the level of inappropriateness. Like, there are people who are like, I'm fine. And they're not fine because they're just saying, they're like, four sentences in. We'll say it. That's a problem. If you're four, <laughs> no, because they think that in, everybody thinks like they do, uh, and they live in Akron, Ohio, or they <laughs> live in they're huge Zips fans. <laughs> they live in uh, just weird parts of Rosemont. If we're being honest, <laughs> Rosemont's owned by a single mob family. Mm-hmm. Good, it should be. I support nah, they're the fucking, mafia. They're fucking greasy Italians. Fuck yeah, good. No, oh, they're bad. oh no, bad because they're Italian. Good not cause because they're the mob. Good because their labor has powered an area. Not every union is mob. <laughs> Bullshit. No, Rosemont is go, owned we by playing. a family of greasy fucking wops. It's not run. It's not like they don't do the work. I gotta be more Italian if I want to make it in the Rosemont Zanies. Just keep... I recently looked at it up the other day, and I was like, okay, where's another Zanies that I can like get my start in, and then I can get to the Chicago Zanies because the Chicago Zanies is like a big start to. Looking or to like do comedy in the Chicago Zanies would be like a big. It's step like Second for me. Second City. Yeah, no, it'd be uh, well. I've done stand up. He's, Second a, he's City. yeah, he's done shows yeah. at Second City. <laughs> but I stole the shot glass. <laughs> he's goo. You don't have to have a friend do a show there. You can just get a drink and steal <laughs> yeah. it. But yeah, I did steal it at his show. Mm-hmm. 
So I was like, where can I get my start in second or uh, in zanies? There are only three zanies all in Illinois. I did not know that. The improv is the one that's everywhere. Huh. Yeah, I know, right? Because I was also like zanies. I must have been at a kookies. Because they have, <laughs> where were you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Zanies. Turned out to be at Cookies, right next to the cookies. Cha 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 cha. It's just bits. We do you dumb see, fucking bits. You see, at a Cookies, that kind of dumb fucking humor is appropriate. They like it there. At a Cookies, that bit crushes. Just oh, yeah. so we're clear. That's as good. Because at a Cookies, it's all Cookie Monsters. It's your entire <laughs> audience. <laughs> so every bit, there is your If you start bombing, just be like, you guys like chocolate chips? And they will lose their minds. And we're not being racist, but Cookie Monsters statistically. They like cookies, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be the guy who has hey, to look, say this. Some blue lives matter, and it's <laughs> Cookie Monsters. I don't want to be Kramer here, but those fucking cookies. <laughs> I got to watch the Kramer thing, because I've recently started watching have, Seinfeld for a girl, which is weird. Oof. A girl that you'll the never second, fuck. Second time that's happened, by the you way. You won't stop. Just stop. Dude. I actually like Seinfeld now. Every, uh, I can't stand it. Every time really? a girl has ever hit me up and been like, I'm not going to fuck you, but let's do blank. No. No. Like, I don't, I'm I fine to just to watch Seinfeld. <laughs> like, I, it's fine. No, exactly. But you don't have to talk Jerry to and Elaine shit, once. you know. I have, uh, anytime a girl has been like, I'm not going to fuck you, but blank, I've been like, I just want to fuck you. <laughs> I just want to. Unless she's like next level cool or related to somebody who I know. And, wait, that sounds like okay. she's my cousin. If any uh, person wasn't. Friends with somebody I know. <laughs> you can, she can be like the cousin of your friend. No, you can I said, fuck my cousin. I'm not giving oh, you permission. I'm right, saying right, legally. Right. I'm not. Le- you're not allowed to. But legally. Well, my friends have fucked your sister. So what are you gonna do? No, he didn't. He he. You he don't know that. Made out with her a little bit wearing my sweater. That's all. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know that for sure. I don't know it either. I, you don't. Know you it. don't. You don't know that uh, that anybody hasn't. You you that you can't yeah. prove beyond the shadow of the doubt that any given person hasn't fucked your sister. So that except like me, Hitler because he died before. That he was born. leads me to my thesis statement. Everybody's LeBron fucked your sister. James fucked your sister, and, and that's yours. Why? And he's yours. The goat, and that's why he's the goat, though. But he and he would be Above better if he hadn't fucked MJ. your sister, because your family is bad and mine is good. Which, by the way, I don't know why there's a debate between MJ and. Uh, LeBron James being, I think it's which Larry. Is MJ I think I and think LJ. Larry, it's Larry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I don't know why there's a debate between Eminem's my favorite MJ rapper. and being L and LJ being the goat because there's a video online of Michael Jordan. I was about to say Jackson. Mike, it's I'm easy. drunk. It's not. I'm not that dumb. Michael Jordan and you LeBron haven't had James enough of that to say playing, that. Playing. I I drank well before this. And LeBron James playing basketball together, and Michael Jordan destroyed him with a smile on his face. Like, he was literally just fucking around. Yeah, Michael Jordan's kind of a piece of shit and gets to Aggressively me. destroying LeBron. It was fucking insane. If you have not seen this video, look up Michael Jordan, LeBron James gets fucked. <laughs> Title of the episode. <laughs> look it up. Look up DP Michael Jordan, LeBron James. Look that shit. Look up. You know, the second time that LeBron James got <laughs> fucked is when Obama convinced him to break the strike. Which the was NBA. dumb. Yeah, don't give up your leverage. Um, eat your boss. But unfortunately, Obama is Dick Cheney convincing. As we learned from the show Vice, or the movie the Vice. The TV show Vice. The the TV show, which had 10 episodes, which was 22 minutes apiece, 10 episodes. No, it would be five episodes to make the yeah. length of two hours a movie. Okay. Whatever. Um, which I still Six. lobby to this day should have been named Dick. Come on. You missed a perfect opportunity to name that I think that's too movie. on the dick. On the nose. nose. <laughs> now, my favorite part of that movie is where they do a credit sequence to show you that he could like have Dick just Cheney stopped. could have lived a better life oh, than you for the second life. half of his life. He if had you, it. He didn't need to do bad things anymore to get it, and he chose if you're to halfway do the this, Iraq War. If you're halfway through this podcast right now and you're like, "What are they talking about?" Legitimately, go stop watch Vice. this podcast go watch Vice. and go watch Vice. Holy shit, so fucking good. So Vice and the Big Short, the the Adam ooh, McKay, Oh, Big yeah. Short, Fox, same guy. Same also guy. directed Talladega Nights and Step Brothers and said in an interview, Dude. he was making, they're all about sort of the same thing. Fucking, they're all kind of the same thing. Okay, they're not. No, but, but they are. No, no, no. no. Who he are, says they, they are. 
they're not. I I get I see what he's talking about. <laughs> you you want to see that? Te- I think you he see took a that. more he took a more biopic true story thing about no. it. But no. Step Brothers and Talladega Nights are also about Step- very rich people living in stupid decadence. Oh oh, uh, uh, it's there. It's not as clearly uh, there. And without the other you. two movies, you, and you don't I need to think my, about my it. It's bad of me to you. think about it. Eat That's a dick. fine answer. Eat it doesn't dick, mean Chris. I'm wrong. Uh, uh, that's how most conversations with me end. I'm not saying I'm a good person, Fine. but I'm right. Okay, uh, let's just start this way. I'll kill myself, but that does not mean I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you end every conversation with a stranger yeah. in a bar? Dude, yeah. I wish we could go to a bar so fucking bad. I, um, I'm so mad. I, I was like, I was like uh, getting out of the shower and listening to music and like and eating getting my hair just so <laughs> and eating <laughs> to it. go to my house. I do that every day. If I don't leave the house, I do that. Oh god! And I'm it's sorry. this. It's this, folks. <laughs> you can't see it, but, but confirm it's, it's not, not I, like a, I can see it. It's not that good. It's not, it's not worth special. effort. If we're being honest, no. It looks like it looks how I want it. Which is no effort. You well, yeah. How, what epi- season and episode are you on in Community? I don't know. Which Why do you keep texting about? me like season three, episode eight of Community? Like it, anyone would know what that refers to. Because if was, anyone would, it would be me, and I don't know. Because I was trying to connect with your autistic side, which I can only connect to over text. You, well, true. It's the only one that's there <laughs> over trying text. Trying my hardest. Because I know you connect so hard with Abed, and I'm trying to connect with you with episodes outside just, of Abed. Just because pretend <laughs> not to remember an actor's name. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't pretend I don't remember. I can name zero people from Community to one of my favorite shows. Uh, They say the names at the beginning. Alison Brie. They say the names and they list them at the beginning. Alison Brie and Joel McHale. Alison Brie because I've masturbated to her and Joel McHale because I've masturbated to him. (laughs) Making sure that's where you were going. By the way, weird that Jeff is supposed to be super hot in Community. Weird that Joel McHale has a good body in Community. His face is not good enough for that body. Calm the fuck down, dude. Dude, no. It looks what are you weird. About? He he's... should have. He should not have a a body Wait, as hot as that is. Hot. Is he's got this... like good pecs and sort of a V going on. Is and it's face... Joe McHale's face. Oh uh, yeah. So his body's too hot for his face. Yeah. Just and it's mm-hmm. his face isn't terrible, but they make the character be like like he's super hot. Because you assume that Ryan Seacrest does not have a six pack. Ryan Seacrest. I'm sh- I don't know if Ryan Seacrest has a fucking six. I'm no, saying Ryan Seacrest because I currently I have a gut right now. And I have a V. I still have the V. It's just part of the I gut. do too. It's made of stretch marks. <laughs> Mine is also made of stretch marks. But <laughs> I have a V just genetically. My The way my abdominal muscles work is that I just have a V in life. It's for Vendetta. <laughs> it's for Vendetta and also Burger King because not McDonald's. <laughs> I prefer McDonald's. But I, I stand well, by the fact well, that— Well, fuck you. Wait, no. Hardy, fuck you. Have you had a Whopper— and compared it to a Big Mac. Yes. Whopper v. the Big Mac. Which way are you going? Big Mac. This podcast is over forever. Fuck you. It's America's choice. No. Fuck. It's America's choice because America's 99% retards. And I will put that on the books. On the full. I won't retract I mean, yeah. this podcast at all. And also, if you come at me later in life and be like, we should cancel it because he said America's 99% retarded. You can be, like, l- l- Amer- listen to what I said. It no. But, uh, you know what? I, the wokest no. fucking person would come to you. Anita Sarkeesian would come to you and be like, you can't say retard. And then you'd be like, I think Burger King's better than McDonald's. And she'd be like, you are a goddamn hard R retard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What's going to happen is later in life, somebody's going to be like, dude, I heard the part where you said 99% of America is retarded, but a lot of people don't hear the rest of the bit. The rest of the bit is doubling down. America's 99% <laughs> retarded. Yeah, Fuck but you, you d- all if you th- actually think – anybody who actually thinks a Big Mac is better than a Whopper – Suck my dick and go okay, back well, to first eating of all, glue, you stupid bitch. First of all, the question was, is McDonald's better than Burger King? No, 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 no. McDonald's and... And by the way, the Big Mac is not... It, it may be called the Big no. Mac. The Quarter Pounder is the main burger in McDonald's. Ooh. You know what they call it in Big Europe? Mac. It is the Quarter Pounder with cheese. <laughs> Do you think do you think that's what they call it in Europe? No, I don't. But I what forgot you, what they actually call it. Royale with cheese. A, a Royale. By the Thank way, you. I was in an airport in Ireland, and they do no. call it that. It was a great day. More buns does not make a good burger. A good makes a good bitch. burger. <laughs> God damn it! I, I actually don't like big asses. I'm not down with that trend. What really? 
You've Ca- seen my girlfriend, so you cannot. I like a shapely ass, not a big ass. Uh, okay. Well, you've seen my girlfriend, so. <laughs> I <have> no comment. <laughs> Dylo the other day was like, uh, there's some fucking redhead that we have. Which one? This will decide whether I'm like, oh, of course, or really? No, not with a big ass. Just a redhead we hung out with one day. And he was Stop like, yeah. talking she- about your girlfriend like that. No, no. I, I did- <laughs> <laughs> some bitch. <laughs> some I said bitch. bitch. Some dumb bitch. This that- room's not soundproofed. Some dumb bitch that doesn't know yoga from my dick. <laughs> <laughs> some shit. Anyways. Some chick who was a redhead we hung out with. Stop talking about my sister. <laughs> You're she's not a redhead. She's Auburn. She's not a redhead. I, you don't. She's not. A first redhead. of all, she's not she a went to redhead. ISU. That Second of not, all, fuck you. First of all, no. First before your first of all, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> You also, fuck Alabama, but thank you for beating oh, Ohio no. State. Oh, so no, Alabama to... fucks because it made me $20. <laughs> and it made me get to go home early. Damn, I'm so glad. All right, remember so, the time, remember so the time that Alabama was a great school night. because it took, got all, all the, the racist white guys? <laughs> I remember that time. I don't remember it. I wasn't around. Oh, Alabama. I'm not immortal. Do you know, did you know that Alabama was the first school in the South who let in black people to play football? Really, I don't. It's not real. I don't. But think it does true. sound funny when Alabama <laughs> just absolutely Black... fucked up the North. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no, Alabama, the university letting in black people is like how Portland was or Oregon was anti-slavery because they didn't want black people around. Alabama let in black people so they could be more racist to them. <laughs> No, Alabama let in black people so they could create a goddamn dynasty of football teams. No, li- no, uh, there, no, the real story of there was a dynasty in Alabama that when other schools were desegregating, Alabama was like, we're still the racist school. So all the good racist white players went to Alabama. <laughs> but that is- And that's why they're blue bloods. You happy with yourself, Nick? Um, Are you happy with what you've done, Mr. Saban? Mm-hmm. Um, the- God damn it, I had a good thing. I do, I and do. I just kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it'll continue. Oh, I didn't say funny. I said good. God damn it. I lost it. Whatever. Alabama sucks ass. Fuck them. OSU all the Not way. Not even a good school. No. Not even Just, good at football. Dude, Justin Fields should be absolutely the quarterback of the Bears over anybody else. I he was thinking about it. Fuck. Oh. Mm-hmm. Trevor Lawrence could eat an ass as a quarterback. He could eat my Trevor ass. Lawrence, yeah, he could. Uh, Trevor <laughs> Lawrence is not as good of a quarterback as Justin Fields is. Justin Fields is a better quarterback, and Trevor Lawrence has better receivers. That's what it is. Honestly, that's girls can't hold their smoke. Yeah, that's uh, what it is. Oh, uh, the the comedy show I was comment on, the movie in the YouTube comment. By the way, the comedy show was I was on tonight. Um, I won't name the name of it because um. It's illegal because it was five dollars for a dab and twenty five dollars for unlimited dabs. They can't make money off that. At that, I know, right? That's the first thing I said. Because if somebody <laughs> wants a dab, they'll give you five dollars. Okay. If somebody wants unlimited dabs, they know their smoke tolerance. They're no, not, or is unlimited know. dabs like when they give you unlimited ribs and they know you'll think you're gonna eat a lot, but you're not gonna eat. Dude, that much ribs. If it's twenty dollars for unlimited dabs, they're losing or unlimited ribs, they're <laughs> losing money because twenty dollars worth of ribs. How many fucking? Ribs? I, I'm not. I don't think they it's price like it at twenty dollars. I don't go to a Golden Corral. I'm petty bourgeoisie. Golden Corral is like fourteen dollars, and you can have unlimited ribs. They think you're gonna fill up on bullshit because they always. You gotta be smart about it. Hey, hey. Oh, when I go to buffets, all I eat is meat. Just walled up. God damn it. I want to order. I want to Uber eat some shit so fucking bad. But unfortunately, I have high cholesterol because I'm 90. It's <laughs> bullshit. My my resting heart rate would cause a physician to gas. See a doctor <laughs> is what I'm saying. I do for my head. That's all I can handle. Dude, I'm aggressively unhealthy and I'm significantly healthier I'm than you. I'm better at it than you. <laughs> That's not. No, you. I can no, see up. it in your eyes. I'm better at you it know you. that's wrong. I'm I can see you. it in your eyes. You're you smiling. You can't see shit in my <laughs> eyes. They're foggy. There's not. You can't read into these because of the cataracts. They're foggy with bacon and cholesterol. I don't eat bacon. I eat mainly fucker. Italian beef. It's the one thing that culture got the right. The only thing that's worse than bacon for you. That's it. Well, yeah, but I get them dry, so it's healthier. Unless you're eating 
fucking sugared bull testicles. That's the only thing that's worse well, for you. Well, not eating. <laughs> Just sucking the sugar off. <laughs> Yeah, That's baby. why they call me the Rocky Mountain Boyster. Do you want to do a shot on the podcast? Because I want to do a shot on the podcast. I thought you wanted to be healthy. Fuck you, healthy. <laughs> healthy is me not drinking any more beer since I got home because I had six before I left the studio. I, I get was... a lot of headaches. It's probably not great. Let's do a shot. Uh, Go grab this shit. I will plug our shit aggressively midway through Good, the podcast. I don't like that. Uh, because I am an aggressive capitalist, I would I like know. to aggressively uh, eat my dick, bitch. Fuck you. Um... I would like to aggressively plug It's Just Bits. You can find it on literally any streaming service. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, hey, look, I'm finding this shit on YouTube, but I don't like listening to it on YouTube. It's on everything. So you can find it on Spotify. You can find it on CastBox, which is a weird place where only I think I listen to podcasts on is Cat CastBox. You can find it on Apple Music, and you can find it on all the other motherfuckers. If you just Google... It's just bits. It pops right the fuck up. So if anybody, because it's weird to plug a podcast on a podcast. So for anybody who heard that shit and is like, why do you do that? Now let me plug some other shit. What I'm saying is if somebody you know might like this podcast, then hit them up. And tell them just to Google it's just bits. So if you're ever in a conversation, if you're ever in a conversation with somebody and you're like, well, how do I tell them to watch it's just bits? You don't have to do anything other than just tell them to Google it. We pop right the fuck up, which is phenomenal. Because when we first started 27 episodes, 26, I don't know. Is that six months? It, no, it's been like three months. We've done a ton of episodes. Wow. Yeah. What are we doing? However many episodes ago, when we started, you could not have told them to Google it's just bits. We would not have popped up. But it would right have been now, a porn site. Google it on your phone. Google it on your phone. It's just bits. We're a te- what number are we? What number are we if you Google it's just bits? I'm going to be sad because I have an Android. So if it's different on Apple, I'm going to be real sad. What uh... What number are we? It is the second unsponsored one. Second unsponsored. And the third and the fourth. What's the first unsponsored? Blown to Bits Chapter 1, Jennifer Peltier Portfolio, Google. Okay, Facebook. the one that's obviously not us. The one that's you a podcast? Rule out. The one that's a podcast. Yeah. So if anybody you rec- so if you're out there, Tyler Sension, if you're out there <laughs> recommending other people, it's just bits, just say fucking it's just bits. You can find it anywhere. Because if they look it up on Castbox, pops up. And that's only I use Castbox, and if they look it up on Spotify, and it's whoever the first listens thing to I... this podcast on Castbox after this plug, yeah. <laughs> oh, also, listen up, ladies, slender men. When you're done plugging our podcast, let me plug that hole in your life and your butt. <laughs> oh, you only like skinny guys. Get it together, thick. That's bitches, why I'm. That's wall why wall. I have sex with fewer men than I could. Because you only like skinny guys. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Yeah, they gotta have that Jillen Hall energy. I don't care if they got a mustache. <laughs> it only matters that they've been in Brokeback Mountain. Phenomenal movie, by the way. Uh, no, they don't have to be. In. They can. They can also be. In they Dune. can also just want to have sex with me. That's all that matters. No, they can so also be in either Dune. Well, what I'm saying is, if how you old got was Kyle McLaughlin when he did Dune? Racist... Hold on, let me Google who how old Kyle McLaughlin was when he was doing. We'll revisit this. Who? Kyle McLaughlin, the guy that was in the original Dune and Twin Peaks. Kyle McLaughlin. Yeah. Pronounce the letters in it. You just Kate, said what? Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle McLaughlin. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's because you're from Chicago, you piece of garbage. Get it together. Da beers. Da beers. Da beers. All right, a shout for the podcast because we probably, a few minutes ago, just broke a thousand views. All right, cheers to a thousand views. We're like C. Vivian Stringer. If you get that, you're me. <laughs> oh, they heard the ting. I, they did, they did. I was going to ask if they, they heard, heard the ting. ting. Uh, Shlanka. Slancha. Unless you were toasting in a different language. <laughs> I'm too old for that. Wow, the 7-Up in whiskey really does wash down the whiskey real well. Oh my god. What was that whiskey? That was the Crow one. My, what the... Oh, it's bad. It's real bad. I have good whiskey. We could have shot... It's $12 for a fifth of it. Why? I have good, expensive whiskey. We could have just drank it straight. Let me let me remind you, I'm better at being unhealthy than you. I have proved <laughs> it. 
Touche. You're gonna no. you're gonna live longer. <laughs> you would have handled a shot of good liquor better. You haven't proved it because you haven't gone to a doctor. I went to a doctor and I got. If I went to a doctor, they would tell me I was unhealthy, and you would think that means you win. But I'm not saying I'm healthier than you. I'm saying I'm better at being unhealthy. Yeah, because I'm trying aggressively to be healthy. Yeah, let it go. You gotta get. You're, you're, <laughs> you're swimming up river. You're swimming against the riptide. That's gonna tire Ooh. you out. You gotta swim perpendicular. Okay. Uh, talking to my therapist as long as I have, I have learned that I love swimming against the tide. So you just ruined your whole argument, man. I love fighting the. Yeah, does your therapist say keep doing it? Yeah, my therapist is absolutely like. Oh, my therapist probably... always tells me to not do whatever I thought I should. Every time I talk, my the main thing, ninety nine point nine percent of the shit I talk to about my therapist is comedy. And ninety nine point oh man, ninety nine point nine percent of the time she's like, "Well, it seems like you have an idea of what to do, so keep it going." And every time she tells me to keep, twenty bucks for that. Every time she no free. Every time she fuck tells country. me to keep doing yeah, fuck this country. Every time she tells me to, to keep doing country, uh, doing comedy because I'm doing well, I get sadder. It's bullshit. <laughs> Because I'm like, what my therapist need to tell me? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> my therapist, um, I don't know. Well, it, so- it hasn't worked yet. <laughs> <laughs> is she, what is she, underage? You pervert. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, my therapist is that little girl that I told the cops was my cousin. Nice. I made $20 on comedy tonight, but, oh, god damn it. I wish I had a show to plug, because this would be the perfect show to be like, hey, come check me out in Akron on blah, 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 a date. But but ever since the zip stopped playing, there's not a lot of movement in Akron. Nice. You know, you know what I'm going to say? It's a meme now. I don't have a show booked this date yet, but come check me out. January 29th, I will be on... I will be on the three wow, studios man. shows. I will be on the 29th. I'm just calling it now. Okay. Despite all the hiccups and okay. <laughs> aggressive drug it is. You made me be a shot, motherfucker. I'm you, I made tonight. you? I made you? No, I did ask. <laughs> no, you made me take a bad shot, you piece yeah. of garbage. There's good liquor on that cabinet. Just use the good liquor if no. it's not a mixed drink. Nope. Dude, no, you can go Live ahead. Live in the dirt with me. Fuck you. You're not living in the dirt. You you don't check your bank account when my rent comes up. My floors are pretty dirty. No, you okay, you you live on the dirt. <laughs> you don't live in the dirt. Yeah, I multiple times I have talked to you and you've been like, "No, I don't check my bank account until rent's coming up." And then I'll look hmm. 2 days before rent. And it's never been a problem. And I was like, no, real poor people, they check their bank account two days before rent. And I'm they're not, no. Fucked. I'm not and then poor. Fucked. I'm not poor. I live in the dirt. <laughs> That's, I wasn't saying I was poor. No, so. By when, the way, do you know why I don't have to check my bank account before the rent comes out? Because I live in the dirt. My apartment is shitty. And so when someone says you want to go out tonight, I say yes. I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about the flooding in my kitchen, but I'm not concerned about that. No, so what I'm saying is... And the is, heat in my fucking when liver. When you come to my fucking house, you know I spend money on liquor. You just know I, I spend disapprove. money on liquor. I disapprove. So when I'm like, let's do a shot, it's not a shot of your fucking garbage. It is a shot of something with a little bit of class, like Jack Daniels. Wait, like, honey. You, okay, okay. Something with class, like compared Jack Daniels. Honey. Yeah, twenty six dollars oh, yeah. compared no, to I, your I have 12. class. I take my medicine with a spoon full of sugar. Over double the cost of what the fuck you pay for. Over double. Dude, you're gas. Yeah, it takes a lot of money to jerk the bees off into your drink. Oh, I understand that gasoline is expensive. It's not twelve dollars, so don't drink it for twelve. Spend a little bit more money and get some good fucking. If whiskey. If you were talking about good whiskey, hurt. I would. If you were talking about good whiskey, that'd be fine. Jim Beam, J- let's go. What Jack time honey? is it? Let's go get some Spangoli Blue. And I said, Spangoli Blue. It's Glen, it is Glenguli. It is Glenguli. <laughs> I prefer Spangoli. He's a better comic than Glenguli. Probably. Glenguli's probably. Glenguli is really Well, Jewish, he's probably dead. And he leans on that pretty hard. He's got to be Scottish. Glenguli. Yeah, Glenguli is for sure fucking Scottish. All right. Put a, put a, put a vote in the comments. Put a one. In yeah, if you're thing. stupid, pick British. If you're me, pick nah, Scottish. No, nah, no, nah. I didn't say British. I said Jewish. So he is You real. said Jewish? I, said I thought you said I thought you said English. Glenn Gooley is a Jewish name. 
It's a scotch. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's a scotch, but it's a Jewish thing. But you think that the international Jew got his octopus tentacles? Okay, I, no, see no, no. Go- I see where you're going. I see where you're going. I see where you're going, Mr. Anti-Semite. It anti-Semite. wasn't racist. It yeah. was supported. Okay. okay, I bet you like Palestine. <laughs> I No, I like Israel in this context, but I won't decide on the context in this podcast. Eat a dick. The concept of Israel's fine. The modern state is... A lot Kill of dead kids. It Don't. might be painful if he you're He says able. it wouldn't be. Bo Burnham is a fucking icon. Kill yourself. He's pretty good. Yeah, I know. I gotta watch his specials again. He had two. Yeah, what and another Fuck. one. What and when. <laughs> it was what and per. I can't remember the name of the other Don't one. you mean... When are we? What, uh, I mean, uh, what season and episode are you on? I do, season what four. Was the last early episode season four. I believe the last one I watched was Dude, I'm Pierce's about to Haunted Mansion. up to you. Pierce, yeah, probably. Get it together. I gotta watch Seinfeld. I work it out. And the night, same. So YouTube. I have caught also for yeah a reason. yeah. I literally I'm I'm watching Community or playing Witcher, and then I gotta play Witcher. Is that Tom, uh oh 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 ah! play Witcher. That echoed in this room. I can't imagine I what heard it like it. on the mic. I'm I'm sorry, everybody. You made the springs on the mic stands vibrate. With yeah, that. no, it was brutal. I'm sorry, everybody, who had to listen to that. I uh, deeply apologize. <laughs> but also play <laughs> Witcher Three because right. I, I, I think I bought it. Like I'm going to say, when that I didn't have a this PC to you, play it. Six hours into Witcher Three is when it got good. Don't your swords break a lot? No, if you're stupid, they break. Because Brendan Rook, I am stupid. who I can aggressively say on the name of this podcast because we're 51 minutes in and he definitely doesn't listen this much. No, he doesn't love us enough. No, he doesn't love us enough. And if he ever does, he will. Even if we get like, just to be clear, if we're the biggest podcast in the world, Brendan Rook will not listen to this episode at this time. Guarantee it. He quits out at 30 minutes. Anyways, if you ever Brendan, do, if you got there, the code word is Glen Gooley and No, the code word is we're not friends anymore. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the, is this some terrible dystopia where Brendan's not our friend anymore and he's listening to the podcast to reminisce about what was? No, what I was saying is That's if sad. he gets Why did to you say this that? point in the podcast, then he comes up to me and he's like, dude, I heard it. It was pretty aggressive. I was banking on you never hearing it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We bluffed and lost. Just like you in poker next time we play. I've never played poker he with him. Is he bad? Poker with is him. he bad? Uh, he won't play poker because he doesn't have $20 to lose. Which is good. ridiculous, I'll right? I'll give him $20. I, I live know, in dirt. Right? I, I live in dirt so I can give people $20. No, it's ridiculous. I, I, I hit up the group chat and I was like, who wants to play for 20 bucks?" And Kylie was like, I'll play for 10 And I'm like, fuck you. It's $20. Because then somebody that night goes home with 120 bucks. Best night. Best night again. And gets. everyone else loses 20 bucks. Yeah, who gives a shit? But whatever. We'll do it next weekend. Anyways, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm i in full drunk ramble mode. I don't know what... God damn it. What's this in front of me? Good. It Can was... I lick it? It was a good bit. I lost it. it was uh, we were at Community. Good. Brendan um, was bad. Uh, Pierce's Haunted House. Community. No, Community. Community. Okay. We talked about community, best show ever. Israel, absolutely fucks Israel. No, it was it was after Israel. After Israel, we got to which show? Which part of community are we? Oh, Witcher three. Witcher three. That's That's what I was talking about. You guys having fun? Anybody (laughs) while listening to us try our goddamn hardest to remember this shit? Hey, we're trying our best. You guys know you skip it anytime. Oh, the name of this episode is "Can't Fuck Me Shit Tits," and then. We get 24,000 views, <laughs> and we're like, what happened? You can listen to the first half hour and Anyways, right. what I'm saying is, sometimes in this podcast, sometimes in this podcast, it is better to talk to the person in front of you than it is to pander to the audience. And right now... I've never done anything but that. I am... Which? <laughs> You'll never <Her>? know. <laughs> no, but... Um, I'm talking to you directly and also the audience. This is a beautiful moment where I don't have to do either. Play The Witcher 3. Six hours in, you're going to say, this is a terrible game. 
30 minutes in, it's going to be a bad game. An hour in is going to be a bad game. And every 15 minutes from there on in, you're going to think to yourself, this is a fucking awful game. A garbage game. The worst game. Terrible Sounds game. Sounds like a bad game. Oh, exactly. You know how I feel about The Godfather? I watched. I was going to say, you yes. fucking hypocrite. <laughs> yes. I watched an hour and a half of The Godfather, and I will never watch The Godfather again. Because I watched an hour and a half of The Godfather, and I was like, yeah, this minute is 94 the is worst good. shit. This is, oh my God. The Godfather, 90 minutes in, is the worst fucking movie that's ever existed. And that's a whole fucking All right, Rose, Reservoir bud. Dogs. All right, Rose, No, bud. that's the entirety of Reservoir Dogs is the Godfather being bad. But I don't think it was bad. It was entertaining bad. enough. It's not amazing. Bad. I don't need to bad. rewatch it a bunch. Bad. Okay. Bad. When you rewatch The Godfather, how much do you skip? I haven't rewatched it. Oh, why? I don't know, because I was watching oh, Goodfellas. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, you mean the significantly better version? I do think it's better. Dude, I don't think Godfather's bad. I think Godfather is the catalyst that created The Sopranos and Goodfellas and all that shit. I think that I think that The Godfather is the catalyst that made all these movies possible. Is this an Oedipal thing with you? Yeah, fucking, I will kill the Godfather. You want to so kill I the Godfather so you can fellas. fuck good fellas. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, we're on the same page. Yeah, no, no, I'm just making sure. <laughs> we said it at the same time. We better be on the same page. <laughs> Dude, can we. I'm going to hit up Cedric right now. And I'm going to send him the link. To the entertainer? That's, that, that's the, the guy who I lost a roast battle to tonight. His name is Cedric. He Which, played Maurice in Madagascar? I should What have. was that about Madagascar and autism? <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to hit him up, and I'm going to be like, all right, let me do a roast battle. But the roast battle is going to be between first battle is going to be me and Kellen, winner, because it's King of the Hill style. Winner You're the fat and Irish. You're fat and Irish. You drink too much. You drink too much. <laughs> Shit, I might. <laughs> but I do. Would you be down? Uh, yeah, sure. For, it's cool. It's it, me and Cedric had a, a an aggressive roast battle where I mentioned segregation and he's black, and at the end of it we hugged and it was cool. Cedrication. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell him to skip ahead to minute fifty one in the video and listen from there, and then be like, "Dude, let us come on this shit." But no, good shit. Is Sacha Baron Cohen gonna be there too? I fuck. He of course did the voice of uh, the other lemur. The other what? King Julian. <laughs> did he? I think so. Was he in Man of the I think. What do you mean? <laughs> Dude, you have I don't have the lung capacity for that because I'm unhealthy. <laughs> I come from a land of hood. Men at work. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, I will. Wait, 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 wait. No. Yep. Would walk 500 <laughs> miles in a year. Yep. <laughs> That's the proclaimer. Oh, you gotta do da da da. Oh, right, no, because you do I one. did da 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 the Proclaimers as sex noises. The Proclaimers. Oh, you already had it. <laughs> you already had it a lot. You thought about this before, and nope, I know that. I'm just quick. I come, oh, no. I come quick. I do bitch quick. <laughs> the Proclaimers. <laughs> well, like. Uh, no, 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 no. You gotta do. No, it's like, I would fuck 500 oh, holes and I, I would, would fuck 500 more just to be the man who fucked a hundred holes to come right on your face. <laughs> that's, the, ah, the- <laughs> that's the male proclaimers. The female proclaimers is... Ah, 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 I would take 500 dicks and I would take 500 dicks. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's still there. <laughs> I'm on your dick. I'm on, on your dick, dick for happiness out. today. <laughs> Which was their attempt to be Alan Parsons Project because it was uh 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 Yeah, okay. Uh-uh, uh 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 you're just grunting. The podcast is just grunting now. No. We, we, Speaking of being on my way. If you're uh, a music theory major, that's so so sorry. 
Oh, send me on my dick. <laughs> oh, come on. Tell oh, us on my dick. I would like to be able to say that. Okay, Uma, what do you think you're doing right now? Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. I'm lost. Send me on my dick. I am very Ooh, lost. Uh, you just want to fuck <laughs> Uma Thurman? Uh, well, it's... No, it's... I would like to, to reach out uh, my uh, dick. <laughs> on my uh, sail. On my uh, tail. Uh, you to come. Oh, uh, I'm telling you to come. Uma Thurman. Oh, oh, that's where you got Uma Thurman. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was Uma like, wait, is he just Thurman. horny for Uma Thurman? Um, well, yeah, but also, <laughs> I would fuck him with Thurman, but well, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's watch Kill Bill. I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to watch Airplane next. Is my oh, also, Why? um, you, do you consider yourself a comedian or a writer? I would like to preface that I as a pod. You could consider also consider myself yourself as a podcast. What <laughs> sexy. <laughs> no, what I can you no, could also no. This is no. This is the difference between me and every other funny person that you know. Is uh, I'm not funny as a profession. I'm funny as a concept, which may <laughs> sound like bragging, but it's not. No, you're the obelisk in 2012. The uh, yeah, black and tall. 2012 black and tall. <laughs> you're the obelisk. Name of the podcast, uh, baby. <laughs> 2012 black and tall, maybe. No, I'm not. I, you're I, the obelisk in Escape from New York, the blackening. That's shit. <laughs> yeah, with snake dick skin. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, you. No, what I don't do you know. Another thing? Uh, All right. No, well, what is, what the, is the difference first. between a comedian and a writer in that sense? A uh, writer is what Tyler is. It's somebody who is not funny on stage, but is hilarious if you read the written word. And a comedian is somebody who is, is funny on stage, but does not fuck on written word. Well, then it, I would have to be a comedian because written word, I'm not I'm but not funny podcast, or charming on written the, word. A, a podcast has to be I am funny based on stream of consciousness, which is why I say- Which I would I to my deep which chagrin- I think that's a podcast. Of the three, I'm a podcaster. Yeah, I think I think the third option is podcaster. I mean, I'm podcasting is just riffing, which is my main form of communication. Anyway, absolutely. So. Me and Tyler are always mad at you because you're uh, funnier than either of us are. But just because you're funny, you're off the, only off the cuff though. In person, I can't write a script, and I'm not a very good stand up. Yeah, you're funnier in person, exactly. which is why I'm telling you get on the them roast battles, and then you don't ever have to be funny. You just translate the roast battles into the, no. The, the, here's why I'd be better: roast battles. I am the I am an observational comic observing a world only I can see. No, you can take that. That's to the a worst. Roast battle. No, sh- fucking shoot me. What the fuck kind of douche piece of oh, shit? Oh, it that? was. <laughs> I don't like to say this a lot because I support the gay people as a people, but in the most derogatory term, that was the gayest shit. Oh, absolute, I've ever heard. absolute faggotry. Oh, in that absolute sense. faggotry. If you were a witch, you ever spell, been to that garden? By you the way? would be the faggotor. Yeah. You would be. Uh, yeah, stop asking call, me to describe my comedic sensibilities. I'm fun to talk to. That's all you gotta know. Alfredo. Don't you dare <laughs> call me Italian. <laughs> You're a fagaccini Alfredo. Go get yourself a booze. Let me get. I'm. I'm. I'm just I suck at the cock. <laughs> I suck at the cock. I like a fagaccini Alfredo. We're going a little bit over time today because we're both drunk. So I'm just gonna plug Skip the podcast. It, yeah, if you want to feel good about yourself and not get directly insulted, because that's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to do. I'm better than you. Fuck you. Um, No, but if you don't want to get directly insulted, skip ahead about, I'm going to guess, a minute and 30 seconds. And if I'm right, then eat my cock, you faggots. Um, faggots meaning the best possible connotation of the word because I support gay people and everything they have to do. Um, anyways, get your shit, make your money, and follow It's Just Bits on literally everything. We're on all the things. It's not that hard to follow us. We are on YouTube. We're doing great on YouTube. Uh, as of this episode, we get our first episode with a thousand views. That's been phenomenal. I've had other episodes of the Connor Ford show or stupid bullshit I've done that got a thousand views, but we only did 20 some episodes and we got a thousand views on them. You gotta let this dog out, by the way. Uh, jingle dog. A jingle dog is jingly. And you could also just pick her up. Pick her up. Pick her up. Pick her up.
It's so cute. She's so such cute. I'm capturing the jingle dog, folks. Oh, what a jingle doggy. <laughs> She's such a cutie. Good dog. All right, let her up. <laughs> Be oh, better. Be better. No, she's fine. She's invincible. I swear to God, dude. I did some shit to her organs. Um. I once stepped on I my hope cat it and was felt not, its organs move. I hope it not was in not in a sex way. I. You said I did some shit to her organs. I hope it was not rearranged them, because that's a sex thing that you do with your penis. Sometimes. Girl texted me the other day about a shit that rearranged her I heard that, that on organs. the podcast that you put more <laughs> liquor in your shit. Well, no, I didn't put any in yet. No, you just did. I heard well, it. Well, just now? Yeah. Not out there. No, I heard it on the podcast that you put more liquor into your drink. And it was a lot of liquor. Was D- it? Because, no, 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 no. A small amount of liquor is glug, 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 glug. A lot of liquor is splishy, splishy, splash, splishy, splishy, taking a bath. That's a, a lot of liquor, and you just crossed a lot of liquor. Splish, splash, I was taking a cock. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> One of my best jokes is she was taking the glug, glug, 9,000. You all know. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, not from experience. Mm-hmm. 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 Girls don't suck my dick. I suck theirs. Nice. Um, I've never gotten a blowjob I liked. Got one. One? How didn't you marry her right afterwards? He had issues. <laughs> so did I. I probably had more. He's doing good now. I'm not. Oh, well, let me pose my favorite question to you, and you already know it. I got to tell my dad not to listen to this one. Do you know, why? Because it's bad? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> well, we know what to name the next. Let's name this one. Um, Don't listen to this, Tom? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Let's name it Fluffy Puppies Parade. Nobody will look that shit up. <laughs> We're just going to, every time we try and go cuter, it's going to be like a worse type of pervert, but continue. <laughs> Touche. Um, no, what I'm saying is, you know my story of, oh, God damn it, I lost it. What were we talking about? Come dumpsters? No, I Women who was talking cute. about how I the only good blowjob I ever got, the guy who gave it to me is doing better than me now. I don't know if he is. He was a year ago. God damn it, I lost what I was going to talk about. But I've never gotten a blow, good blowjob, which is something to talk about. I mean, they're, none of them are bad. Uh, All of them were bad. I would like to rephrase. I've never gotten a blowjob where I've been like, I'm going to come, never once. It took some concentration. Yeah, but that, you see the problem? Still good, though. No, a good blowjob is a blowjob where you're like, I'm going to come again. Against my will. Because when I fuck a chick... Well, yeah, all... Wow. <laughs> all good sex is rape eventually. Uh, <laughs> what? You said against your will. I'm just giving... No, what I'm saying I'm is... I'm just giving I'm fucked having, up voice to your fucked up thoughts. I will say it like an Australian. If I'm having a good blowjob... Let me know when you get into the Australian accent. <laughs> that was the entirety of it. It's just not go past that. Uh, Jim Jeffries, Jim Jeffries, Jim Jeffries. If I'm a uh, good eye, oh, I cunt. might if you got Whoa, me knobbing no, no, you got. No, 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 let me uh, good good eye, cunt. Good eye, cunt. Good eye, cunt. If I'm having me a good blowjob, there it is, Mike. Uh, there it is, and that's as far as I can go because I have to say good eye, cunt, again to get back into it. If I'm having me a good blowjob, then I can. A good blowjob, I think, is a blowjob in which you are. You cannot not come. A good blowjob is a blowjob in which she involuntarily rapes the cum out of your penis. I think that's a what we all want, good, I think that's a good blowjob. Gentlemen. So I have never had a good blowjob. Never once. Say my standard Because guy. every blowjob I have had, I have had to concentrate on coming. I've been like... Okay, I got to come eventually because this is going to be forever. But every time I have eaten a pussy past the first time somebody was like, here's how you eat a pussy. <laughs> past that time. That's how she, the one that taught me sounded too. You're exactly. Like, here's how you eat my pussy. The, no, the first girl who I actually gave an orgasm to was like, you're doing it wrong. Here's how you eat a pussy. And Your I'm mom like, was more polite to me. <laughs> and I was immediately like, "Classics, folks. first of all, turn on. Second of all, go ahead. <laughs> and yeah, no, I agreed. And ate pussy like a motherfucker. And then it was an involuntary so did I, of the orgasm. It was not an orgasm that you had to be like, I better think of... <laughs> You know, Henry Cavill okay. or whatever. 
But every male orgasm that every female who listens to this podcast has had is an involuntary orgasm where the male has to be like, okay, I'm, I'm this is hot. This is phenomenal. She's Jennifer Aniston. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is as good as it gets. But every female orgasm I have ever had in my mouth has been. I want to talk about politics. Involuntary. Go ahead, Mitch McConnell. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Do you think he's ever had a uh, I, squirted I, in his mouth? Do you think Mitch McConnell has ever eaten pussy so good somebody has squirted in his mouth? Now I want to talk about regular sex more. Uh, no, <laughs> well, no, no, because his wife is his wife's a freak too, probably, right? Like she I, wants. I've never seen his wife. On I've never seen his wife either. either, but I bet she wants that turtle snout all up in her box. That's <laughs> what she, which is like, if you want to fuck a no, listen, turtle. I'm, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get down there now. I I don't have a Mitch McConnell voice because I've never. I don't never think I'm really doing one. Once. I'm just trying to be jolly. And no, fun. Mitch McConnell. And every voice time I do Southern, I just want to do Lindsey Graham. Voice, but slightly retarded it is Mitch McConnell voice. What? That's just. <laughs> yeah, uh, an amalgamation of nonsense is Mitch <laughs> McConnell voice. Well, no, you, there's it, no you've voice. seen video of him. Are you sort of jolly? And I summer. have never once heard Mitch McConnell speak. I am the I am the the the. the scapegoat the child of Omelas that takes all of the hatred of the American people because I'm the best conservative politician in the generation. If anybody has a cross to bear, it's certainly Miss McConnell and nobody else. Miss McConnell is very similar to Christ. <laughs> in that... Nope, I couldn't think of something. It's okay, I'm looking up Miss McConnell. Like to get a reference of his voice? Yes. I uh, they're the well they're they're all bad. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, uh, the blowjob is much better as foreplay than the uh, the main sex act. Do you how many times have you come from a blowjob total? One hand. Less than five. I mean, I can count it on one hand, and I'd prefer Less one hand. Less than five. I've uh, same. No, what I'm saying is I have a hand jobs that have been better than blow jobs. Oh, for sure. Just but that's isn't that bullshit? Because when No, it, because blo, no, blow jobs are just like a base thing that people are like this is better cuz it's harder to get him to do it. But like that doesn't mean it's actually the fuck he, uh, I would I think you can, been, I, here's the thing. I think the late person feels can give better a better than every blow job ever. The best blow job ever. Anybody has ever had the best blowjob LeBron James has gotten. LeBron James, just so we're clear, LeBron, yeah, the best LeBron James blowjob you have ever received, Mitch McConnell, has been, (laughs) is still worse than actual sex. I'm about to bust. I don't know about that. Absolutely. I've had pretty bad sex. Every, I have not then. There's another step in this process. Dude, shut up, Tapper. Dude, what? I said... Is it, do you see Mitch McConnell, or is it no, just people talking about McConnell? No, I don't. He was on the view. He was on the, the thumbnail. thumbnail. Oh, my God. It's all white people. Yeah, no, the government of the U.S., yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's wild. Dude, it was all... Okay, fine. Drop in. This is an ad for a different thing. We're not being paid for this. And a tax pro will do the work. Or file online and get help. Don't go to TurboTax. Go to TurboTaxSucksAss.com or TurboTaxSucks.com. Oh, no, there's a... There's a... Oh, my God. Dude, can I get one video of Mitch fucking McConnell? Can you? No. Can I? I bet I can. Not a single episode. Is it Joyce Behar? Dude, this one's a... That's it. Jordy Leader. We're debating a step. <laughs> oh my god! See? He sort of talks d- like he has a dick in his mouth. Jo- sort of jolly shoulder. Whether Congress should overrule the vote. Whether Congress should you overrule the vote. You gotta get very loose cheeks. A presidential. Cheeks as loose as a Presidential. I've never had this many cocks in my mouth before. He'd give a great blowjob. He's got I lots would. of cheek flesh. That I've you could just sort of got a lot. Of, hang on, sort of, hang on. I've got a lot of jowls. You could fit to your penis. Right. There, you stick his, your dick in Mitch McConnell's mouth. You know how you're like fucking you're, a fat chick, and you don't know if you're fucking a vagina or just <laughs> folds of fat on her body. That's how I give blowjobs. 
<laughs> it, it I think I got it. Isn't it time to do two Mitch McConnell? And and a half half it took me two and a half seconds to get Mitch McConnell. Talking I, about sucking dick the I entire time. I currently life. understand who he is as a person. And the only way I don't I've think any human him. could. I am barely a human. Wait, let me say that again. I'm barely human. Uh, you're clo- you're closer than I've ever been. I'm ninety percent lizard people. And I just like to say, well, turtle, that if Ron Jeremy Burgundy. could fuck Ron Harper uh, Duke. Blues <laughs> Comedy a High Collar Blues, Tour Blues Club. What's it? What's the name of the Ron? The Ron, Ron White. The Ron White. If Ron... I call it Jeremy, doing the lazy dog. If Ron Jeremy could fuck Ron White, then that They call me, me Tater Salad. They call me Mitch McConnell. That's a better McConnell than I, I can ever do. It's just a as, as I was saying, Texan. As I was saying... Um, just be retarded in Texan. Your, your dick is as to Mitch McConnell's mouth as a stirring rod is to a pot of delicious gumbo. You just kind of get it in there and wriggle it around. Just go hang... There's a Dude, lot of cheek flesh in there for you to bounce off If we're off being of. honest, have you seen a person stare, stir a gumbo? Because they stir with aggression. They have to... No, I just... His voice reminds me of the word gumbo. They have to stir up a gumbo like it's... Fish stew, like they're trying to get the Is saliva not, of the fish, fish around. You know, the best fish stew I've ever had in my life was on Catalina Island at a Mexican restaurant because the fish stew was like it's a fucking Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> Adam McKay. Yes, that that island, the same island, the very same. You get your dick together with Miss McConnell's jaws. I guarantee that's a spicy etouffee. I guarantee. Miss McConnell is cannot keep spicy. this jaws separated. Just he slow separate. down the cajun you're doing in your Miss McConnell's jaws. Way slower. Get. Slow oh, as Mar- it physically Mar- gets. Murray, I can't do Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Alone. Mar- I can't do a Mitch McConnell impression Mar- alone. Uh, they're they're keeping razor blades out of the the air force because is that Bobcat Goldthwait? <laughs> you mean the worst comic that's ever existed? No, I don't mean Carrot Top. Um, dude, low blow. What fast food are we getting after this, by the way? Because I, I really know, want whatever. fast food. I really want to eat aggressively unhealthy. It sounds so good. Come to my house. Kaching. I paid six dollars for Beyond Meat burgers. Was the last unhealthy meal I ate. It's vegetables. How could it be unhealthy? Because it's not. Because Kylie found out that I have high cholesterol, and now my life is ruined. It's yeah. I should definitely get a girlfriend. <laughs> I didn't say you should. You, I know, said you know how we just agreed that hand jobs are better than bl- white. I am. Sweet Your time never seems so good